Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to share with you a book review of The Fireman by Joe Hill. And The Fireman is a post-apocalyptic novel um, about this horrible plague called Dragon Scale that is taking over the country. And basically it is a disease that starts out as a very like intricate, almost beautiful tattoo looking rash on your skin, um, but then shortly after you spontaneously combust. So people are literally bursting into flames, so um, there's that, and then because of all the fires, cities are burning to the ground, um, fear is spreading just as quickly as the disease, and it's just this horrible thing. <laughs> and our main character is Harper, and she is a nurse, so she has seen firsthand the effects of this plague and what it has done to people, um, and it has no cure. And she discovers pretty quickly that she has the rash, she has the beginnings of Dragon Scale, and she also discovers that she is pregnant. So she is trying to, with, you know, time not really on her side, um, because once the rash develops, you don't really have much time before you spontaneously combust. So she is trying to figure out a way to um, deliver her baby safely and to stay alive until her pregnancy is full term. So um, she comes across a man who is called the Fireman, and he has managed to not burst into flame. And so she is trying to learn his gifts because he has been able to, in some ways, manipulate the disease um, and kind of make it work for him in his favor. The two things that I really liked about this novel um, were, okay, the first thing is the dragon scale itself. I thought that the plague itself was very unique. Like I said, it starts with this rash that looks almost like a tattoo, um, and it can kind of show up anywhere in your body, um, and it's catered to you. Like if, for example, if you're a musician, um, it kind of looks like music notes and stuff like that. So it's actually, and it's kind of shimmery and almost like glittery. <laughs> so it's, it's very beautiful when you look at it, but of course it, it is this horrible omen of this horrible disease. But um, So that aspect was really cool, and the idea that, I don't think I'm spoiling anything because it says right in the blurb that the fireman has found a way to not explode or combust, and <laughs> he can control the, and manipulate the plague to kind of do things where it's kind of like almost like a superpower, which... It's kind of awesome. So when you're reading the book, you're kind of like, wow, Dragon Scale, I mean, it kind of sucks if you end up blowing up, but um, if you can manage to control it, it's actually kind of a cool disease to have, which is like weird because normally when you're reading about plagues, like you like deteriorate and you're like falling apart and like these horrible things happen to you. And that just isn't really the case with Dragon Scale. It's like you get this rash and otherwise you feel normal until you're not until you're, you know, blowing up. So, um, in that way, it's almost kind of attractive, <laughs> which is weird and unique and cool. The other thing that I really liked about the book was that normally when you read, um, books about, like, a plague or something that come that, like, surges through a country and tears a country apart, usually you're reading about the people that have managed to not get the disease or whatever it is and that they are trying to, um, survive and not catch what's going around and fighting off, you know, the people that do have it or whatever. It becomes like an us versus them. And in this situation, in the firemen, it's about the people that have the disease. They have it and they're living with it and you're seeing how they're trying to survive. So the whole thing is kind of completely flipped, um, which is something I don't think I've ever read before. Um, or seen before, and so I really liked that unique concept of him flipping it, where it's about the people that have the plague, not the people that have survived the plague. There were a couple things that I didn't so much like about the book. Um, the first being that it is, a, it is a long book. It's like 750 pages, and I felt like at times the pacing was a bit off. There were times where um, it just kind of slowed down, and you were kind of, and the plot kind of started to meander, and I was kind of wondering like where it was going. Um, so there was that, and then also, um, some of the characters were a little bit inconsistent. In particular, Harper, I felt, who was our main character, she was a little bit inconsistent in that in the beginning of the book, she is portrayed as this, um, Mary Poppins type of person. She's very chipper, she's very kind, 
Um, she doesn't like to swear and stuff, but then throughout the book she has these moments where she's like swearing and like being actually quite mean and it just didn't seem like it fit her character or at least the character that we were first introduced to and I don't know if Joe Hill was doing that to kind of show that she is changing as a character or or whatever but um it was just it was kind of it was kind of um I don't know it was just weird I think that overall it's a pretty good book um if you're a fan of The Walking Dead I think you would like this book because it's very much about how The Walking Dead has evolved into this this show about the people trying to rebuild and the, and the community that they're trying to like recreate with with a lot of difficulty. It's pretty much a huge theme in The Firemen. Um, it's very much about how people get together in a group and how they interact with each other <laughs> and kind of the dramas and things like that that ensue when the world has basically fallen apart and they're trying to reestablish community. I would say that it's um, it's not my favorite Joe Hill book. Um, I think this one, for some reason, it lacked a little bit of heart for me that I've found in some of his other books. Um, I just felt a little bit disconnected uh, emotionally, where with some of his other works I was like, I was totally gripped, you know? But I ended up giving The Fireman and I was very conflicted about how to rate this book, you guys. I like... I don't know, I had to think about it for quite a few days. I ended up giving it three and a half out of five stars um, because, like I said, I really liked the unique concept of the plague itself and how he flipped the um, kind of the survivor story on its head. I really liked that. So, yeah, three and a half out of five stars. Um, and yeah, it wasn't too bad of a book. So, if you want to check it out, please do. Um, if you've read this book, please let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Or if you hated it, I mean, please, I just want to know because this book, like I said, it really kind of had me conflicted. So it'd be interesting to hear um, your thoughts as well. So that is all I have for today, guys. I hope that you are having a wonderful week. And please, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, that's all I have. So I will talk to you soon.